Hello and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be selling off some of my laptops and donating the money to charity. A great Australian organisation is Food Bank. They provide over 200,000 meals a day to those less fortunate in our society. That includes children, adults and people from all walks of life. The second charity I'm going to be donating to is AWL, which is short for Animal Welfare League. They help lost and abandoned animals find a loving home. Lastly, all the ad revenue from this video is going to be donated to a charity of your choice. I'll choose the most requested one from the comments below, so feel free to leave a suggestion. Anyway, I think it's time we put up some laptops for sale. I went through some of my laptop stashes and found a few units that I'd actually made videos on before. All of these at the very least do turn on. I decided to take the photos for the eBay listings on this red cloth in a setting that hopefully no one that watches my videos would recognize. I'll explain why I did this later in the video. The first laptop here is a Dell Latitude 3440, which appeared in my video about two months ago. Since then I removed the SSD and the 8GB of RAM. The laptop currently has a mechanical 320GB hard disk and 2GB of RAM. It has Windows 10 installed, but I'll definitely be sure to make it clear that it could do with a bit more RAM in the eBay listing. The second laptop going up for sale is a 2008 unibody MacBook. Sadly, the battery in this laptop has finally died. You may recognize this laptop as the $25 MacBook I restored in November of last year. The only change I've made since then is removing the SSD and putting the original mechanical hard drive back in. I'm only including a generic third-party charger with this machine, as good second-hand genuine Apple chargers are becoming really hard to find at a good price. So I'm not going to get rid of the ones I own. The next laptop going up for sale is this original 2008 model MacBook Air. You may recognize it from the video where I bought a pair of MacBook Airs off of eBay for $100. The one we're selling here is the model that didn't have a battery. Considering it gets kernel panics at full brightness, I'll adjust the listing accordingly. It'll be sold for parts without a charger. I never got around to making a video about this 2009 model MacBook. It was a bit dirty, so I gave it a quick clean with some eucalyptus oil. This will make it somewhat more sanitary for the potential buyer. It has 4GB of RAM, Mac OS line installed, and the battery no longer works. Also, no charger included with this listing. A laptop you may remember seeing is this early 2008 model MacBook. I got it for $50 off of eBay and released the video just over a year ago. It's got 4GB of RAM and a 120GB hard drive. It works fine apart from the battery. No charger will be included in this listing either. I'll also be selling off something that isn't a laptop. Here we've got a JVC hard disk based camcorder. We'll see how much it sells for. The first thing I did was import all of the photos off of my phone onto my computer. I renamed all of them so they'll be easier to keep track of. I then went through and created all of the listings. I made sure to take many clear photos of all sides of the laptops and describe them as truthfully as possible. I started all the listings at a low price and made sure to put all of the important information in massive bold text just in case people don't read the description. With all the items listed, all I had to do was wait. Since the auctions were only 24 hours long, I didn't have to wait all that long. I made the postage a flat $15, as that will probably cover all the cost. While these laptops aren't amazing, all the money will still be going to charity. So let's see what all the auctions end up going for. First to finish is the Dell Latitude, selling for $72.55. That's pretty good considering it only has 2GB of RAM and no SSD. The Unibody MacBook got several bids in the dying seconds of the auction, selling for $107.50. The 2008 MacBook Air with no battery and the kernel panics ended up selling for $56, not bad at all. The 2009 model MacBook only ended up selling for $30.52. I mean, considering it didn't come with a charger, I guess that's not too bad. The MacBook that featured in my $50 MacBook from eBay video only ended up selling for the starting price of $35, likely due to it not including a charger. Surprisingly, the JVC camcorder was actually the highest seller out of all the devices. It fetched a reasonable $109.50. At the very least, all of the laptops sold. 
Surely nothing could go wrong, right? So after all the laptops had sold, I get a message from the buyer of the Dell Latitude. Hello, just wanted to check how is the laptop as in the battery as well I am a student, hence how many hours of backup? And can you send me some additional pictures please? Does it look like old laptop or does it look okay to take to my college? First of all, the battery life was clearly stated in the description. Second, there were clear photos shown of every side of the laptop. You can see the laptop and determine whether it looks old. And why does that affect whether you can take it to college or not? Why on earth would you be asking these questions after bidding and winning the auction? I then check their profile and see that they're apparently in India. There was no international postage offered, and it was clearly stated as Australia only in the listing details and in the massive bold text in the description. How dumb can you be? These are the kind of time wasters I absolutely hate, and this is one of the main reasons why I stopped selling computers online. So they never paid and never got back to me confirming their location. So once again, I put the Dell back up for sale. This time I added more massive text, just in case it wasn't obvious that this is not for international buyers. At the time of me filming myself talking, the auction hasn't actually ended. So I'll put the final sale price right there. The second time around, the Dell Latitude actually sold for more money. That's awesome. When it comes to eBay fees, it's about 10% of the final sale price, but I'll wear those costs so all the money goes to the charities. You know what? It felt really good selling these computers off for charity. I really wanted to sell yet another device. I decided to put the Dell Enspawn 11 from my last video up for sale as well, and with any luck, I won't get any time wasters wasting my time. This laptop is in great condition and the battery life is also really good. Once again, I made sure to add lots of clear photos and add massive text in the description. The final laptop ended up selling for $111.50. All of these auctions are only a day long, and that's quite deliberate as the people who watch my videos are bound to work out it's me selling them. That can cause many problems, one of which being people bidding up the price with no intention of buying. That's why I didn't advertise any of these auctions on social media. But can you imagine running a listing for seven days only to have a time waster not buy the laptop? Here comes the fun part, boxing up all of those devices nice and safely. I'm gonna be reusing a lot of the boxes that I've received laptops in before, as most of them already have bubble wrap. When I send laptops off, I make sure to wrap them in several layers of bubble wrap. To protect the corners from impact, I taped cardboard to either side. This will help separate the two laptops that I'm posting to the same buyer. I was actually running very low on tape at this point, so I tried to be resourceful. To cushion the laptops from the outer box, I placed them on a bed of scrunched up newspaper. This may not look all that nice, but it's definitely going to help them survive the journey. Another benefit to filling any gaps is it'll stop the package contents from rattling around. I did basically the same thing to the other packages. I was down to the very last of the sticky tape, so I tried to be as sparing as possible, but I actually run out of tape. One trip to the shop later, I had more tape. Since I no longer had to skimp out on the tape, I went back over the packages and securely closed them. I was really running out of time. The post office was gonna close in about 40 minutes. With much haste, I wrote out the shipping addresses and taped them to the boxes. I nearly forgot to put the sender details on. As I was doing this, I finally got the payment for the JVC camcorder. Even though time was tight, I frantically boxed it up. At the time of filming this portion, the Dell Latitude and the Dell Inspron hadn't yet sold, so I'll be shipping them off next week. And with that, I was off to the post office. So the total amount of money raised was... And I'll be splitting that 50-50 between Food Bank as well as AWL. Once again, I'll be donating the ad revenue from this video to a charity of your collective choice. Feel free to share the video as it'll help it get more views. For those of you who are channel members, thank you very much for your monetary support. That allows me to do charitable videos like this. And for those of you that are in the Eucalyptus Oil Squad, I'll have a behind the scenes video out in a few days. Thank you very much for watching. If you've liked what you've seen, definitely feel free to like. And if you wanna see more, definitely consider subscribing. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video.